welcome students previous session we saw the lesson changes around us in this lesson we discussed about physical changes today we are going to see about next part of this lesson changes around us lessons chemical changes let's see the lesson chemical changes changes that occur with the formation of new substance with different chemical composition or transformation of a substances into another substance with the evolution or absorption of heat or light energy are termed as chemical changes already we seen in the previous lesson about chemical changes and the example of chemical changes rusting of iron burning curling of milk reaction of baking soda with lemon juice fermentation are some example of chemical changes in chemical changes are very important in our day to day life all the new substances which we use in various fields of our life are produced as a result of chemical reactions some of the example of the important of chemical changes are given below there are combustion rust digestion photosynthesis batteries fermentation washing and baking these are the examples of chemical changes what is chemical changes characteristics properties will change in a chemical change because a new substance will be formed in every chemical changes new substance will be formed the atoms will make different bonds which will lead to different molecules and the definition of chemical changes a chemical changes allows the nature and characteristics properties of matter the bonds between atoms are rearranged and new molecules are formed some other chemical change examples of chemical changes are given below sugar dissolving in tea this is chemical example of chemical change and logs burning is also chemical change example of chemical change and beakering water up by separating it into hydrogen and oxygen this uh, this experiment also example of chemical changes next physical clues of chemical reaction in addition a new products the following many also accompany a chemical change there are common observation that may accompany a chemical reactions are change in color production of light formation of a solid such as a precipitate in solution a smoke in air or a metal coating and formation of a gas bubbles in solution or fumes in the gaseous state and absorption or release of heat sometimes appearing as a flame so these are the common observation that may accompany a chemical reactions and heat light or any other radiation may be given off uh, or absorbed and sound may be produced in chemical reaction and a change in smell may takes place or a new smell may be given off and a color change may takes place and a gas may may be formed rusting of iron you already studied your 6th standard that rusting is an example of a chemical change and now shall we read why the process of rusting is called a chemical change and rusting is one changes that affects iron articles and slowly destroys them since iron is used in making bridges 
ships, cars, drug bodies, to and many other articles. The monetary loss due to rusting is huge. Next, the process of forming rust is represented as follows. Fe, that is iron. Fe, the symbol of iron. And plus oxygen, O2. And from air, the uh, oxygen from air. Plus H2O, water. The reaction becomes the new substance produced. That is rust. Fe2. O3 H2O so iron plus oxygen plus water gives rust 2Fe plus 2O2 from air plus 2H2O gives 2Fe2O3 H2O burning of paper burning we have already studied that burning is one of the example of chemical change. Burning a piece of paper gives entirely new substances such as carbon dioxide, water, water vapor, smoke and ash. Here, heat and light are also given out during the burning of paper. We can't combine the products of burning of paper to form the original paper again. So, it is the permanent change. Burning of paper is the example of permanent change. Now, shall we perform an activity of burning a piece of magnetism ribbon and find what type of changes it. Burning of paper shown a chemical change because it insulates and turns to dust. So burning of paper is a chemical change because you can't change ash back into paper. So burning of paper is an example of chemical change. Let's see the small activity about burning. See the picture. Take a small piece of magnesium ribbon and clean it by rubbing its surface with the sandpaper. Hold the magnesium ribbon at one end with the paper of tongs and burning, bring its other end over the flame of a burner. You can see that the magnesium ribbon starts burning with the dazzling white light. Hold the burning magnesium ribbon over a wa watch glass so that the powdery ash being formed by the burning of magnesium collects in the watch glass. When magnesium ribbon burns it air, then the magnesium metal combines with the oxygen of air to form a new substance called magnesium oxide. The equation of magnesium oxide form magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. 2 mg plus O2 gives 2 mgo. The new substance formed. Magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. Curling of milk. We know that the curling of milk is an example of irreversible change since we can't get back the milk after curling occurs. It is also called as a chemical change. Curling of milk is an example of chemical change. Shall we clearly the process of curling? Curling is a process in which liquid gradually turns into solid, forming clumps all along the way. Take hot milk in a pan and add few drops of curd. In few minutes, milk curd is forming lumpy solid masses. We can even add lemon extract to the hot milk to affect curling immediately but the taste and 
statue of the curl will not be the same as that of the curling occurring in a few hours. You can try to taste the curl formed by immediate curling and gradual curling. Which one is the tasty? Yes, correct. The gradual curling of milk is very tasty. Fermentation. Already you know then about fermentation. In your sixth class, you saw an example that preparation of batter to produce idli is an example for irreversible change. Fermentation is the process in which microorganisms such as yeast and certain bacteria break down sugar solution into alcohol and carbon dioxide. It is an irreversible process as the alcohol form cannot be turned back into sugar. This formation is a chemical change. Fermentation is a chemical change. So in fermentation, the process in which microorganisms such as yeast and certain bacteria break down sugar solution into alcohol and carbon dioxide. The, the, this is the fermentation. Chemical reaction of baking soda with lemon. Baking soda is sodium hydrogen carbonate and lemon juice contains citric acid. So when these two substances are mixed together, then a chemical change takes place between sodium hydrogen carbonate and citric acid to form three new substances, sodium citrate, carbon dioxide and water. These three new substances formed. The chemical change can be written in the form of word equation as follows. Sodium hydrogen carbonate plus citric acid gives sodium citrate plus carbon dioxide plus water. So chemical reaction of baking soda with the lemon is an example of chemical changes. Next conditions needed for a chemical change. See the four pictures. These are the examples of conditions needed for a chemical change. First picture, we know that firing of crackers is a chemical change. Some crackers explode only when thrown against a wall or struck with the hot substances. Thus, we would see that change in pressure may also bring about a chemical change. Next picture, when lemon juice is mixed with soda water, they produced brisk which is otherwise not possible when they are separate. So, we can say that many chemical reactions occur only when the substances are made of physically contact with each other. So, first condition is change in pressure. Second condition is substances are made to physically contact with each other. Third picture, we have tasted raw rice and cooked rice they differ in their taste so cooking is a process that is involved in the stated example when rice is boiled with sufficient water the heat and the water that had brought the change in taste of the rice before and after cooking thus we can say that heating is a condition needed for a chemical change to occur. So third condition is heating. And last one, we know the use of vanaspati in cooking. Vanaspati is obtained from vegetable oil by addition of hydrogen to the oils. And fourth condition is electric current is also a condition that is needed for affecting a chemical change. So first condition is change in pressure. Second condition substances are made to physically contact with each other. And third condition is heating and fourth condition is electric current.
indicators of a chemical change formation of a gas bubbles change in odor change in temperature change in color formation of a precipitate these are the indicators of a chemical reactions when the chemical uh, changes happen these reactions occur so these are the indicators of a chemical reactions bubbles change in odor change in heat temperature change in color and formation of a precipitate next endothermic and exothermic chemical reaction will be either endothermic or exothermic endothermic means heat is absorbed and exothermic means heat is liberated here three states are given solid liquid and gas when solid particles heated the solid become a liquid that is expansion solid when heated it is expansion solid molecules expansion and becomes liquid and melting next particles of liquid when liquid is cooled colder the liquid is contraction and becomes solid that is freezing next particles of a gas when gas is molecules colder and becomes liquid condensation these are the endothermic and exothermic chemical reaction last one periodic change and non periodic change what is periodic change change that repeat themselves after a definite interval of time are called periodic changes for example rotation and revolution of earth beating of a heart clock striking every hour motion of a seconds hand minutes hand hours hand of a clock are some examples of periodic changes and non periodic changes changes that do not repeat themselves after a definite interval of time and occur random by call non periodic changes for example running of batsman between the wickets movement of legs while dancing and a few example of non periodic changes thank you children we have completed changes around us less